here talking about Fear Itself, the killer yeah. new anthology series. That is. Horror on network TV, which in and of itself is crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a challenge. I mean, you know, obviously we're 10 p.m. on Thursdays, so it's not, you know, the 8 o'clock slot. But mm -hmm. they're not in love with buckets of blood and lots of, you know, lots of gore. But they let, let us do a lot. You know, they, it's more about tension and and you know the the, the, the suspect and the, the suspicion of danger and and the reveal of danger versus the real gore for example we had a scene where there's a guy who chops a vampire's head off and you know my first instinct was obviously let's do a, let's build a, a, a vampire and we'll do an effect and we'll cut it off and they said you can't show that deliver him from evil so we did it with shadows we decided to do it you know on the wall play it as a shadow and it was cheap and it worked how do you think uh, Fear itself is going to sort of stack up in terms of uh, what are sort of some of the classic genre conventions that it maintains and what are some things that, that are done differently or maybe improving on the past. It's a good question. I think what they've done here with this is put together a really amazing crew and great directors and great actors so there's going to be a uniformity of, of talent putting together these pieces and so I think there's a general high bar that's been set for the show and I think that's going to really make this thing stand out as an anthology show. Get ready for the ride of your life. working on this thing? Um, I was given such great freedom. You know, they said, you know, here, you have this many, you have eight days, you have this much money, mm -hmm. here's the basic script, now go for it and have fun and make, and they gave me the opportunity to really, you know, I did a vampire thing and I love doing vampire type things. For me, Nosferatu is, is a, the, the linchpin and the, the touchstone for, for vampires. And so stylistically, I didn't approach the execution of our show that way, but certainly for the design of the vampire. I wanted to go with a guy who is make it very human-based. It's not, it's not the original Hulk. It's an oversized, giant, monstrous thing. He is, he's scary and monstrous and decayed and, and obviously undead, but he's, his core is a human being, and you can see that in, in the persona of it. You're saying that thing is a, is a vampire? <laughs> You're saying my brother is a vampire? Not yet. <laughs> 